Are you looking for me in this? No, I'm not. Here we are at Totless Market and everybody's juggling the old age and the new age. The new age and the old age. There's fields and fields of... There's the old marketplace. I'm just walking through the market. I'm going to be back in one minute. Here's the market. This is the famous new age town. The town where people share organic vegetables, take things from Thailand. Make carvings and jewelry. This is supposed to be the wonderful town, but it's a town where a lot of people are torn between Methodist, Church of England, and Catholic. They're torn between Buddhism and feminism, old ageism and new ageism. Their hearts are broken, and people have got cancer and died. And there's been depression, alcoholism, drug abuse, and a lot of divorces, a lot of second hand emotions, a lot of recycled love. So it is an ancient port where they say Brutus of Troy came to meet the old people of Avalon, the old England. But within that structure, you've got a huge amount of cultural mishmash. And it isn't all wonderful. A lot of old memories and feelings. It's not always such a new agey, groovy. So while people come from all over England to find their alternative, they're also in the Haunted Isles, the spiritual ancient city, where divorce, greed, selfishness, Loneliness, corruption, naivety, arrogancy, stupidity. Merges and people forget how grateful they should be, how spiritual they should be, how caring they should be, how much more loving they should be, and grateful they should be to live in such a beautiful, ancient old place. And there you see these people working together, farming together, oh, no, fishing I'm together. A <laughs> and, uh, this is the ancient town of Mama Pueblo, where she grew up. And the hypocrisy of it, the double-edged sword, the extremism. Mm, the ancient boxes, the ancient masks, Stolen crafts from the colonial era. Are they trading for the people or trading for themselves? Ancient, ancient 